out in the shop today doing a little bit of tackle organization not on this guy right here not today but i think i'm going to start doing like a lot more i was about to say no boat videos but i guess these are considered boats i don't know if you can see them out here my kayaks what i'm trying to say is i'm going to be using my kayaks quite a bit we're going to do just a couple kayak videos here in the very near future and so what i'm doing now in times past what i've did is when i when i'm about to go to the kayaks or i'm about to go bank fishing what i'll do is i'll come get in this boat i'll grab my terminal box out of here i'll grab my chatterbait box i'll grab my ned rig box out of here and then i'll put it in my kayak drive off in my truck and then we'll go fishing do whatever 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 and then i'll come back go pick up my boat get to the lake realize i don't have any ned rig heads in my bass boat or i don't have any uh buzz baits in my aluminum boat well what i'm about to do you see this tackle wall right over here i have way too much tackle right like way 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 too much tackle so what i want to do with all of this stuff since i have enough i might as well i'm going to make it to where when i get ready to take my kayak i don't have to get anything out of this boat right here I can jump right in my kayak, put my kayak in the back of my truck and take off. Then I'm gonna make it, this will be a separate video, I'm gonna make it where when I get in my aluminum boat, I don't have to dig out tackle out of my library in my bass boat and put it in here and then get it all swapped up. I'm gonna have, when I hook up to the aluminum boat, everything that I need to fish for a day of fishing is in this boat. Likewise in my bass boat and likewise in my kayak. So it's gonna be quite, of a, quite a bit of work. Probably not gonna make this all one video. I think today I'm just gonna count, count oh my god today i'm just going to concentrate just on the kayaks get those guys rigged up there's not really a lot that i have to have but it's very aggravating when you take something out of this boat put it in the other boat and then you don't have it when you get to the lake it's very frustrating so tackle day tackle day tackle day let's get started on the tackle today oh lord yes so i found this neat little organizer that plano makes for soft plastic bags and I was really impressed with this. Check it out. So it's kind of like a binder, just like what the soft side binders that I had for Z-Man. And these are, you know, these work. They're great. I mean, they work pretty good. One of the downsides to it, like if this gets wet, it stays wet for quite some time. Um, you know, they work. I think inside the boat, these tend to store better because it's just like a tackle box and you can kind of line them up a lot better. So I found these in my stash of uh, Plano boxes. I think I'm gonna start using them to store my plastic. So what I'm gonna do now is build a box to uh, to put all my my plastics and trailers and so forth in. I've already built one. This is basically one side. This is soft plastic. So this is Ned Rig stuff on this side. You can see how it just kind of it pinches. It pinches the, the the bag, and I noticed the more bags you put in there, the more the harder it pinches, and the better off it is. So, like if you put one or two bags in here, it holds it okay. But once you start putting three, four, five in there, it really holds it good. What? What did you want? So I'm gonna I'm gonna start building one of these out uh, for my kayak. Let's walk out here. I'll show you where my kayak is. I've been working on my kayaks out here. And just kind of building some, building some stuff to uh, go kayaking for the next couple weeks. So this is going to be like my soft plastics knit rigs and stick bait box, and uh, I'm just going to stick that in one of these boxes here. But I'm going to get another one of those boxes and build out another. Here's one right here. I'm going to build out another for like bigger plastic stuff to flip. Here it is right here. This is what it looks like. This is called a worm bag stowaway. This is a hard side. Bring it out here in the sun. Worm bag stowaway is what it's called. So I'm going to uh, gonna build out another one for my kayaks. We have all my soft plastics rigged away and ready to go. All right, let me go to my wall and get some of the things that I need. So usually, you know, and my kayak, I really kind of mostly use finesse stuff in my kayak. But you know, I'll probably need like some chatterbait stuff. So I'll, get, I'll grab a couple chatter, chatterbait trailers, um, maybe creature bait or something to flip with. Palmetto bugs, that's a good one to have in the boat at all times. 
a metal bug. It's just something like a creature bait to flip with. Turbo crawls are always good to have as well. So I'll grab some turbo crawls. Yep, turbo crawls. We'll grab some mag fatties. Be a good bait to keep on there. Sawtail worm. It's like a U-tail worm. Maybe the white turbo crawls for like a trailer too. Probably could use those. And let's see. Soft plastics wise. Um stay right there, Brooks. Okay, here we go. So here here's what the box looks like right here. I'm gonna start putting it in. I'm just these are uh, like turbo cross, like baits to flip with, baits to uh Base to flip with like the bigger power fishing muddy water stuff. You put that stuff in this in this organizer. All right, turbo cross. Turbo cross is a really good like swim jig trailer. You can use in the sight fish with. You can flip it standalone too. Wait a minute, buddy. Where are you going? If they fit on this little. No, baby. Fit on this little card. Uh huh. You have that one. This little, they have a little plastic card in there that keeps the plastics, it keeps the plastics from uh, getting all. I don't know how else to say it other than just janky. Wait a minute, Brooks. Uh, hmm? Eh? They keep the card, they keep the plastics from getting all messed up. So. You definitely want to keep the little hard shell plastic on the inside of these things. I think I also, I also need swim baits. So, you know, swim baits to throw standal on. I think I saw some over here that I could use. Like a standal on swim bait. Five inch diesel minnows. That'll be a great one to have. The three, four, and five inch models that I use mostly is a four inch. Three inch. Let's see here. It's purple death. That's a good one to have. It's black and blue. So in the skirted box, put a few chatter baits, buzz baits, sprinter baits. A few jigs. You know, skirted baits. Put all these in here. So I'm gonna show you something else that I use a lot. That I probably don't really talk about that often. That uh, that I also like to keep when I go river fishing, I like small water fishing. Most of these are three eighths ounce chatter baits, but I'll use some big ones too. Um. But these little these little marabou jigs, dude, spot spotted bass eat these things up in the current. That little guy right there, little black marabou jig. You hear about that a lot when you're talking about smallmouth. Nobody really talks about it that much in the uh, largemouth world, or in the you know down south. You don't hear about it that much, but it 100% does catch them. Now, I know in a normal situation, you would store your spinner base a little different. I'm just gonna take this edge box and stuff my spinner base down in the box of the bottom of those. Now, the reason I'm gonna do it that way instead of having a whole entire spinner bait is because most of the time, I'm gonna be fishing out of my bass boat. When I go, when I take my kayak, if I got three or four spinner baits, man, that's good. I don't, I don't need a whole box of spinner baits when I'm taking my kayak, so. What I'm gonna do is put these in here like this. 
Stop, Brooks. We'll put these in here like this. I got three spinner baits right there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this box for other stuff too. So I'm gonna put a few jigs in here. So like this box is gonna be like my skirted bait box. So I'll have jigs in here, um, different size jigs. I never throw a jig, but just as soon as I don't have one, that'll be the day they're, they're biting a jig. And yes, you heard me right. I don't really fish jigs. You can chastise me in the comments if you want to. I just don't really catch them on a jig. Simple as that. I'm not mad at people that throw jigs. I'm not mad at people that make jigs. Good buddy just does not catch many on jigs. Many or any, actually. But it's also because I don't really fish jigs that much either. So usually if I'm gonna flip or throw at laydowns, I'm probably gonna use something else. And that's probably why I don't catch them on jig. Like I'll pick up a Texas rig first. So I'm gonna put that in there. I got a couple of buzz baits. Brooks, Brooks is messing with my trim power pole buttons. So if you see, if I'm stabbed by my power poles it's because Brooks over there is messing with my stuff. So I'm gonna put a couple buzz baits, white and black buzz baits in here. Brooks, please don't text anybody. He's on my phone now, folks. A couple of buzz baits in here. All right, so that's that. Also gonna put a couple of frogs in here. And what else do I need? I need I need probably a couple of frogs, a couple of spinner baits, a few jigs, and I probably need, oh, chatter baits. We gotta get some chatter baits. Let's go to the chatter. Let's go to the chatter bait wall. Three eighths ounce chatter baits. I'm not leaving, buddy. I'm not leaving. Let's go up here. Three eighth ounce chatterbaits. No, 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 buddy. No, stay, 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 stay. A half ounce. You can use him. A couple of half ounces won't hurt. No, Brooks, stay down, baby. A couple of. Need to get a few Ned heads. And jig heads, so I think in here, yeah, I got some jig heads. Um, fifth ounce Ned rig heads, put those in here. Only I don't use that many sizes actually, so fifth ounce Ned heads. Then I need like some lighter ones, not a fifth. Yeah. Uh, it's probably always a good idea to have a few drop shot hooks. That never hurts. Heavy cover drop shot hooks. Then let's do just some, well that's for Texas rigging drop shot hooks. Let's do a couple of these for like wacky rigging or something like that that may come up. Let's do that. A couple O-rings in case I need O-rings. Don't know what I might need them for, but you might need an O-ring at some point. Offset worm hooks, always need those for Texas rigging and stuff like that. Two or three of those should be good. I don't spend a whole bunch of time in the kayak, but you know, when I do go kayaking, I go kayaking. Two or three of those. Should be good for that. This is just, uh, I don't think we need flipping hooks. Drop shot hooks. Da, 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 da. Let's maybe do. Let's see what else we got in here that we might need. This is a wacky rig hook that has this weedless. Put him in there. That can't hurt. Anchors two. Uh. These are some drop shot weights. We can use these. Definitely need some drop shot weights. Hello. So 
the drop shot weights. We need those for sure. Usually using a drop shot in a kayak, but if the need arises, I got them, good buddy. Got that. There you go. Ned rig, lighter Ned rig hooks. One twentieth and one fifteenth ounce Ned rig heads. Always can use those. We also need some round. I like to use these round jig heads too for certain stuff. Little small swim baits, stuff like that. So we got a couple of those, three sixteenths, and eighth ounce on those jig heads. That covers that. A few jig heads, and then jig heads. Uh... Okay, let's see. This is just like a little hard bait box. I don't use that many hard baits when I go to the kayak fishing. I got one MR6, a square bill or two in here, a couple top order plugs, a couple traps, a couple jerk baits, a couple pop bars. I think that should cover it as far as hard baits go. Soft plastic society. Then I got my pretty much skirted box. Sprinter baits, buzz baits, bladed jigs, or the chatter baits. Got some uh, marabou jigs up top and two frogs. That should cover it on whatever you want to call this box. So these are two more boxes completed. The reason I'm doing this is it's hard to kind of keep going back when I go from boat to boat. When I go fishing in my bass boat and then I turn around and I want to go in my kayak or I want to go pond fishing, like I, I pull stuff out of my bass boat and what happens is I end up losing I ended up like disorienting one of my top one of my boats and so then when i go back to my bass boat then i don't have nid rig heads or i don't have my crankbaits so i decided to just take some time and try to get like all my like get my boats rigged out how they need to be That's basically what i'm doing so that is why i am doing this Put that in there and so in all honesty, that really should be just about everything I need to do tackle-wise for a day of fishing right here. Looks like we're ready. We got everything ready for the kayak trip now. Let me show you what I got. Just a box full of everything. This way I don't have to twist and turn, take stuff out of my, my big boat when I go kayak fishing. I got my fishing line inside. I've got a box of skirted baits. I've got a box of, what is this? hard baits that's top waters jerk baits rattle traps all of that and i've got two binders or two of these organizers of plastics and of course a little box of terminal stuff i got a six compartment plano for uh terminal stuff too so that's pretty much everything i need to go fishing brooks is that what you're pulling out i got a little swim bait in there too i don't know if you guys can see that that's it huh I don't want to see the swim bay. I didn't get to it's see it. It's the baby bullshit that we already know about. Oh. Let's pull that down. Baby yep. Oh, you didn't show now it's time to start working on the aluminum boat one. That's going to be a different video. Thanks for watching this one.